Alright, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to build a six pack individual for your breeding pairs. And everything's gonna get done for under a hundred bucks. I spent about $96 total with everything, but I already had my tools. So what you'll need to get is some wire cutters, a staple gun, some staples. You're gonna need some two and a half inch screws, a drill, a saw, a measuring tape, a marker, the wire, I would suggest you guys to get the 24 inch, which is two feet wide, 15 feet long, and is one by one. This is the one you guys wanna get because it allows the droppings to fall through. You don't wanna get nothing smaller due to that reason. Then you're gonna need a few one by ones. It's gonna be about 16 total, which you guys will need. Two sheets of plywood and a truck to go get everything you guys need so i'll show you guys and talk about the dimensions on how i do it so it comes out where you don't use extra material and you pretty much use everything you buy all right so first you want to measure out a piece of wood where it's going to tell you exactly what we're doing so i had them already pre-measured so i could show you guys a bit easier and these markings will make it really easy for you guys to get the job done. All right, so what you guys wanna do is first, you're, you're gonna measure your first box, which is from the top to the floor of the box. And I measured it out at 16 inches from the top piece of the wood. So that'll be the box of the birds, 16 inches. The inside of the box. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the three inches because these pieces of wood measure one by one. So by the time you're done, you're at 19 inches from the very top to where the piece of wood is gonna go. Then you're gonna do two inches in between for the droppings tray. Where, you're gonna go, where you guys are gonna place a dropping tray. And then the same thing again. 19 from the bottom, all the way to the next box. So from the top to the bottom of the next box, 19. Each box will measure 16 every time. So you see there, this is the floor of the H box. So we go over here. Start there. Okay, so I measured out the first pieces of wood we're gonna need, which are the four legs. What we're gonna do is, these are the measurements I've used and they work well. So what we're gonna do is I measure each box to be 16 inches tall and it's gonna be 21 and a half inches wide, which is pretty big or big enough for a pair of birds. So what I did was I measured out 16 inches from the top to the bottom of each next, next box. As you guys can see, it's right on the mark, 16. And it starts where the piece of wood would be. So what you guys need to do is add that inch and a half, because that's what these pieces of wood measure, inch and a half. So what you do is inch and a half to the bottom, where you're gonna place the other piece of wood, which is right here. This is There's gonna be a one by one here going across, and there's gonna be a one by one here going across. So each box in between those two pieces of wood measures 16 inches. So I did the same thing over here. Sixteen inches. Same thing here. Top to bottom, 
16 inches and your box itself is going to be six feet tall six feet tall that's where we're going to cut the leg and that's how tall the box is going to be four of the pieces of wood so far for the legs now we're going to use three more pieces and we're going to measure them at 45 inches because we're going to make the box four feet wide and the reason why we're making it four feet wide is because we're going to use one sheet of plywood on the back side of the box to conserve wood and use as much of the wood as we can as possible so take three of them measure 45 because you're going to need six total you're actually going to need nine total so take make nine pieces 45 inches wide so now you want to measure eight pieces of wood that measure 21 inch because those are going to be your sides and the edges to your floors all right so we got the eight pieces we're going to need to hold our floors the other eight sides for the floor and these other four pieces that you guys were left from the original four legs we're gonna need these four pieces to hold the dropping tray. so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after it's assembled all right so I got the frame done As you guys can see we have our slots for our dropping tray our frame for our floor all the way around all three of the compartments so now what I'm gonna do is add the wire floors and these are the steps you guys have to take to make it as smooth and as easy as possible on you guys that way it doesn't become a hassle and as you guys can see all my markings are here it just makes everything way easier a lot smoother and that way you know everything's gonna come out right you're not gonna have any crooked corners everything comes out real nice also when I put my stuff together I try to take all the like hard corners all the good-looking corners so I take the good side the good-looking side of the wood and then all the bad sides I turn them inside out like you'll be able to see some here like in here this is a rough spot so I try to like in here too this is a hole here that's just natural from the wood but I flip it inside out like this piece of wood also here bad spot so I just flip them and make it look as good as possible that way it comes out looking nice all right guys so we got the wire floor in and it's looking pretty good so now we're gonna go ahead and do the back wall and the pieces of wood that will hold the dropping trays in and i'll show you guys why i do it the way that i'm doing it so on the wire as you guys can see it hangs over just a little bit on the back because it's exactly two feet. So without the plywood on here, it makes it really easy to stick your hands in here and work. So the plywood's the last thing you guys want to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on that and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right, guys, so we got the back and the roof on there. And we used one sheet of plywood to get that done. Got the wire in at two feet wide. Got the pieces of wood at the bottom that'll be holding the droppings tray. And these pieces that I used in here are the pieces left from the long piece we used off the leg, which were 23 in 22 inches left. And what we need this piece to be is 21 and a half. So the, the individual is four feet wide is the way we're looking at it and two feet of depth. 
So everything lines right up. You use about a little less than six feet on the plywood and the plywood comes eight feet. So you use two feet up here and about a little less than six feet back here. So you're using a complete sheet of plywood and you're not wasting the wood, you're not wasting your money and you're using most of the material that you're buying. These markings here will help you. So from here to here is 16 inches. From here to here is two inches. Same thing again, 16 inches. So now what I'm gonna do is add the side walls and the dividers that are gonna be going here to divide the three spaces to make it into six individuals. I did forget to mention you guys will also need one inch screws to screw in the plywood. I completely forgot to mention that, so I'm throwing that in there now. So you guys, if you guys do build your own individual, you guys don't forget to get those screws to put the plywood onto the frame. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything I can help, let me know and I'll give you guidance, measurements. Everything should be in the video, so I hope it helps. All right, so I got the sidewalls on there and the center dividers, as well as the dropping tray. Now all we need to do is get the doors and hinges, put the water cups and feeder cups, and they'll be ready. I'll be showing you guys how, to, how I make the doors for it and the rest of the measurements in the next video. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think.